Hey everyone, uh, I'm back today and I want to talk to you about using the extended splash screen control with, that's coming to you from the UNO toolkit. And so the extended splash screen control obviously is uh, allowing you to take the native splash screen that's available on any of the platforms that we support that have native splash screens and basically continue to show that on your screen as well as being able to overlay it with any custom content like branding or a loading progress ring or something like that uh, for as long as you want while your, your application is doing anything it needs to do, grabbing more data, loading more, loading more stuff uh, before you actually want to show the, the, the UI of your application to your user. So the extended splash screen coming from the UNO toolkit is actually derived from another control that's available to you within the UNO toolkit called the loading view. And this one is a more generic content control. Uh, but basically all it is, is a content control that displays a, a custom loading content. So any content that you want while it's is loading is still true, right? So as long as you set the source to an iLoadable interface, which is coming from the UNO toolkit, which has an is executing and is, is an in, is executing event. Uh, as long as is executing is true, the loading view will display the loading content. Otherwise it won't, right? It'll display its normal content. It's a content control. So going back to the extended splash screen, um, we can jump into an application now and we'll show you how to actually implement that. So within the extended splash screen app that I have here, we have um, our main page. Right, and so we have our main page, which will eventually be shown on the screen. But first, we want to have, let's say, five seconds hard coded, uh, just to show our extended splash screen. So what we're going to actually do is we're going to wrap everything that's going to be displayed in our application using a shell control. So we're going to create a custom user control called shell, which I have right here. And so this is our shell, and so it is a user control, and the only thing that's inside of it is this extended splash screen coming from the UNO toolkit. And so we give it a name so we can access it in the code behind. And we have uh, two things that are that are happening here. First is our loading content. So our loading content template here, what we're actually doing is we're defining a grid and we're going to say, OK, while we're displaying the extended version of our splash screen, overlay it with a progress ring and a text block at the bottom for my branding if I want to put my logo or my motto or something like that. And so that's all when it's currently loading. So when that is executing is true. When that is executing becomes false, um, I actually want to show the content of my application. So then display a frame that we're actually going to navigate to our main page in the end once we're done loading. And so if we were to look quickly at the code behind, just to get you an example of this iLoadable that I was talking about, um, we have within the shell, within the control uh, constructor of our shell, we're setting the source of our splash screen to this custom loadable that I've created, right? And so instead here, this is I'm doing instead because I want to hard code something for five seconds, but here's where you can connect this to your view model or, what, or whatever you're using uh, to maybe fire a command, as long as it's giving you something that implements that I loadable. Um, and so if that command is continuing to run, you can continue to keep is it executing true and you can have this extended splash screen continuing to display. And so my loadable source uh, just implements this I loadable and it does an execute. And while it's executing, it just waits for five seconds and then sets it's executing to false. Um, so we could take a look, last thing before we get into the demo of our app.cs. So the only thing that you're gonna have to change here is by default in your app.cs, your main windows content is set to your main page, right? So what we actually wanna do here is set your main window content to an instance of your shell instead, right? So we're setting it here. And um, once that's set, we grab that root frame. So that frame that we created in the content of our shell and we navigate to main page. So then once the, the execution is done for ex displaying the extended splash screen, uh, we've already navigated to main page and your UI is ready to go. So if we were to look at a version of this application running, We'll just start the app and we'll get this up and running. This is what it'll look like when you're done with that main page. And so here's your native splash screen. And here comes our extended one with our progress ring, our branding, and the background being that native splash screen. And there we go. There we go. We're on our main page already uh, with the frame that has already navigated in the background.
And so that is extended splash screen. Um, I hope you learned something. Go check out the docs. Uh, there's lots more to, to learn about it and uh, hope you build something cool with it. And if you want to continue to be uh, notified of, of these videos, you, you want to know when the next ones come out, whether from me or from my beautiful teammates, um, make sure to subscribe to our, to our channel and you'll be notified whenever a new tech bike comes out. So um, hope you learned something and I'll catch you in the next one.